Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review a movie called The Day After Halloween. And what better way to put this up than The Day After Halloween? Uh, I was kind of on the fence about this because it's a long movie. And, you know, work night and stuff like that. So I'm staying up a little later than I usually would have. But I said, what the hell? I mean, I did that unboxing yesterday. They had the Halloween card in, so I can't keep it topical. Because I was going to put that up to today instead of on Halloween. But I decided to space things up differently. Um... I found out about this movie through uh, sneak previews. Cisco and Evil used to do the Dogs of the Week, and they mentioned this day after Halloween. And uh, just like Terror from 1978 and this from 1979, I wouldn't have known about this movie if they wouldn't have mentioned it. And I looked all over to, for this movie, and um, I had a chance to, I only saw it once. I had a chance to rent it one time, and that was at Fort Detrick, Maryland. This one video place I had it. I looked at it like, eh, I don't think this sounds that interesting. So I didn't. Now I was kicking myself in the butt. I was saying I'd like to see it again, see it. And I looked it up on uh, YouTube and it has a bunch of different titles. That's why I was able to find it. Along with The Day After Halloween, it's always called The Night After Halloween. That's called, uh, on Wikipedia, Snapshot and One More Minute. And, uh... I found out six months ago it was uploaded on YouTube as Snapshot. So look up Snapshot if you want to see the movie. And then Cinema Critic, I mean Cinema Snob, uh, reviewed it a couple of days back in, under the title Day After Halloween. That's how way I knew it. Because I saw on videos Day After Halloween, I think Magnum Entertainment, along with that other company, it was a low budget company that I saw. Day, I mean Magnum uh, ended up you know, renting it too on VHS. But it has nothing to do with Halloween. Nothing to do with Halloween. It's just a retitled movie because I guess back then a lot of companies retitled their movies or re-released them. And basically, a snapshot or what's that? Minute by moment or one more minute? Eh, I don't know. Snapshot's probably a better title than Day After Halloween because it's kind of misleading. But I mean, if I was going to review it, I thought I would do it the day after Halloween. I only get one shot at that. And it's about a model. Well, a girl uh, who's a hairdresser, and she has a model friend. And her friend uh, talks about, well, why don't you leave this job and try a modeling gig or something like that? And the girl's like, eh, I don't know if I want to do a modeling gig. It's an Australian film. And like you have American International production that's set on the thing, Australian International Productions. Well, anyways, I don't know if I want to do it. And then she kind of told off her boss. The boss said, don't come back here anymore. Because she's like, I got to go back. My I thought she was fired anyway. So I thought he fired her because he's kind of a jerk. He said she looked like the dog's dinner or something like that. Because it's Australian. She walked. He's real mean to her. And she still lived with her mother and, uh, and her daughter. I mean, and her sister. And the guy said, you know, we give you a modeling gig, and the guy, and she was like, eh, I don't know if I want to do it. It ended up being like a topless gig for some perfume. And, she, and, and they ended up just going to the beach, this one guy. And the guy was kind of weird. He was photographing like dead mice and stuff like that. And, uh, and she ended up paying like $1,500. And, and the girl said it was like a thousand, no, $1,000 for a half day's worth. It ended up being a full day. And, uh, she goes back to this after the club. She's really unsure of it. And the guy said, no one will see your face or nothing. And then you ain't going to see nothing. And she goes to this nightclub. Now, the worst part of the nightclub is this performer. He goes, boo, this singer. And he's on a, and he's in a, a decent amount of movie. Well, I mean, this scene, then he's he's in another scene. Oh, boo, my believe, my believe, Jane. He sucks. He sucks. I, I hate him. He was the worst thing about this movie. I mean, that's the that's the thing that hurt the movie. And then he was like, he they showed him in a Scottish outfit, and he was doing a Scottish outfit. Oh, bobbly bop, ooh, bobbly bop, lazy Jane. And then he was in a, in a pirate outfit, and go, arr, ooh, bobbly bobbly. It sucked. He was awful. And then they showed him later on being Elvis, like he's trying to do a snarl, going like this, this, and he goes, boom on the rock and no, the rock and no. It was awful. That 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 really hurt the movie. He cut him out. If they have to edit anything, edit this out. Edit that part out. And, um, well, anyways, I had to talk about him because I really didn't like him at all. And she's being followed by her crazy boyfriend who drives a ice cream truck. Mr. Whippy ice cream truck. 
And it shows about her going down. No spoilers, but I mean, trying to like going. I mean, you've seen moods like, well, you just take a couple pictures and they try to be nudes and they get in a different. It kind of gets like that. It's like a slow burn. And I thought it was really interesting. I ended up feeling bad for it. This ended up being, it's nothing to do with Halloween. Michael Myers, it's a, little more, it's a thriller. Not do with Michael Jackson either, like a thriller movie. But I mean, I guess you, you could categorize it horror, because horror and thriller, Ernest Jane, like at the Horror Fest, we showed thrillers there too. So I mean, this could be, I mean, it's hard to find, but it's, right, it's on uh, YouTube as a snapshot, an Australian film. But you can understand what they're saying. I guess, I heard the original uh, Mad Max, they had to redub the voices because the Australian accents were really hard to understand. That's why I was told. I never, you know, they have like the original. With the original voice for Mad Max, I think. Uh, I thought it was interesting. It's a slow burn, though. It looks like something you might see on Lifetime, but it was interesting. I ended up feeling bad for her. her mother came uh, over, and she ended up living with that guy that took the photos of the dead animal, and he was a group of friends, and then she kept her money in a drawer, in a cash, like a $1,000 or something like that. And then uh, her mother came over and asked what she was doing. I got to watch that scene again. And then, oh, man. Her mother ended up stealing her money. I felt bad. I felt bad for her. I mean, it's it's interesting, but different. It's not like a slasher or anything like that. But I mean, a girl in danger kind of a thriller. It's not like a slasher though. Um, I enjoyed the movie. I, I like I said, uh, I kind of felt bad for her. it. Was I mean, it wasn't the greatest thing in the world, but it wasn't bad. But boy, that nightclub singer really, I really hated that. I really hated that. I mean, it really it really hurt the movie because that guy was awful. He, I know Mother Mayhem was saying all this stuff about these people didn't belong in the new Halloween, but they were all great. This guy didn't belong in anything. He was awful. But I give uh, the day after uh, Halloween a 7 out of 10. I thought it was pretty interesting. It might be a little bit of a bizarre end for some people, but it's a slow burn. I thought it was interesting, and it's free on YouTube. Uh, like I said, sometimes, like I said, the Dogs of the Week was some of my favorite because they always talk about horror films. You know, they don't like horror films, usually Cisco and Ebert. But, I mean, I got to find out about this one because of them, along with Terror, because I would have completely missed that. Terror's on, on, from 1978, not the old Boris Karloff and Jack Nelson was really good, but Terror from 1978, and also Day After Halloween is on YouTube, but, I mean, Day After Halloween is known as Snapshot. That, it's called Snapshot. So I give a seven out of ten. I gotta watch what see what Cinema Snob thought about it. Uh, I bet you he hated that nightclub singer too, but you never know. I gotta watch his review of it sometime, maybe tomorrow night if I get a chance. So I hope you like this review, everybody. The day after Halloween, even though it has nothing to do with Halloween. So until next time, bye, please. Take care of my legion. And thank you, my buddy Tim Sands, for making me this thumbnail a while back. I've been wanting to see this movie for a long time. I was kicking myself in the butt for not renting it. But I, re I was looking at it like it, it didn't make it sound very interesting. It's like a whole big, giant, like five paragraphs what the movie's about. I was like, yeah, I don't know. But I got to see it free on YouTube, which is cool. So until next time, take care, everybody.